any question you say, I mean, pretty much. Check this out, it's a new feature release from this video sponsor, Canopy. We are doing a demo day, specifically around insights. Your natural language processing, AI, big, smart, super strong reporting friend. Now I am a big advocate of cloud practice management systems like Canopy. We recently commissioned a huge study of the best ones, but if there's one thing they, they kind of suck at, it's been reporting. Old legacy systems were these massive databases and in theory you could query just about anything you wanted out of them. In reality, yeah, you never actually could because they were wildly complex. But Canopy Insights, check this out. We go down here, welcome to Insights where you got a big old juicy box to throw questions at in plain English, not some data dork QL you don't understand. So, how do I make ice cream? Come on! Okay, if we go back to the Insights home screen, bunch of things you're gonna see on here. These are KPIs that have all been pinned from live dashboards, that's these things down here. But let me show you the wild reporting chops that Canopy has. So this is the big boy report. People call it different things. Realization, profitability report, the accounting profession's silent killer. And I'd use this report, among other metrics, to work out what are the clients that we are doing best on, what are the clients that we're struggling to make money on, and what are the areas where my team needs more help. Now, this wasn't the only data point I used to make decisions, but it was an important one. And driving this whole report is this query language that Canopy has. All that super sweaty stuff that legacy PMs do, they've got their own more accessible version of it. And I would argue like the piece de resistance is the ability to chuck any old question into that text box and it does the complex querying for you. But let me show you this. I'm gonna make a copy of this realization report and edit it to my heart's content. And you'll see up at the top here is the query that built out this report. And on the left hand side, you've got columns and formulas. Look at this though. I didn't have to build this myself, but look at this big sweaty formula. That's a lot. And some of you just got really excited. You're like, this is gonna, this is really gonna change things for me. I can build these big, complex reports to do whatever I need them to do. Others of you are like me, you're afraid. And what I want is a nice friendly little robot that will just understand what I need and give it to me when I ask. And the good news is Canopy's got that robot. Let's go look at that robot. So back on the homepage for insights. Let's come back to this, this search box here. First thing we gotta do is set the data source. Specifically, what data do we want to search within? We've got billing, clients, time, workflow, if you want, you can just YOLO all sources. I'm gonna say time entries. And here you can actually see it as giving you popular queries. What are the kids searching for these days, you know? Which is actually pretty helpful because you may come to this and not even quite know hmm. what to begin with. But me, I know exactly what I want. Exactly what I want is, how many hours have been logged this year by team member? You pretend I haven't searched for this before. Now talk amongst yourselves. And here we go, we've got all of our total hours by team member. Up at the top here, you'll see it's actually outlined the little query that it built based on my question. We've got some time entry hours, time entry username, and time entry started date is equal to this year. Better than writing a bunch of nerd QL, but the beauty is I didn't have to like figure those things out to begin with. It just inferred that from the question that I asked. So we've got all of our users, all of our staff members along the bottom here, Blythe, Go outside, but this is good. This is what I wanted. Who's a good boy? Now I can save this, I can pin this. I can even order merch with this printed on it through the Etsy integration. What's that? What? That's not a thing. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try, let's try a billing question. I'm gonna change my data source and I wanna know how much revenue have we billed by client? Pop that in there. Talk amongst yourselves. Here's the little steps, the query that it built up at the top again. And we have a bar chart with many, many bars because there's one for every single client. How about instead we limit this to, let's just do this for our top 10 clients. Gonna hit go. There's just the top 10 and they're even ranked in revenue order. Look at that. Now I can tell you in the past, oh, the process for me to pull that report would have been pulling up the reporting screen there's about 80 report options, as opposed to this where I'm just gonna punch in, here's kind of what I want. It's gonna do its best to then give me what I want back. And even if it's not perfect, I can actually still tinker with it, 
which we're gonna look at now. Let's do something that's a little bit of a sweatier application. We're gonna do billing again, but what I want this time is to actually see, for my top 10 clients, what was the revenue next to like the billable width, the billable time, right? So we're gonna pop a different question in here. How much revenue did we make from our top 10 clients compared to what was billable? See if it can make sense of that word salad. Okay, we've got these little like comparative side-by-side -side bar charts. Total line item build amount and total line item billable amount. But what if that's not what I actually wanted? I say, bad robot, let's fix it. So we're now editing this whole visualization that it gave us. And if you look at the top, the query that's in there, you will see it is using the line item billable amount. And the line item billable amount isn't necessarily time, that's, anything and everything that we're billing to them. So if we're passing through software fees or you know doing like a fixed rate thing for a certain package, that's not necessarily like the whip, the billable time, the hours multiplied by the rate. That's what I actually want. So we're gonna swap that out. So I'm gonna get that one out of there. And instead I'm gonna pull in some time entry billable amount. I'm gonna hit go. And it's gonna update that report with that different metric. Now I've got the little side-by-side -side bars just showing billable whip. Now, when I go to like submit this change, it's actually gonna ask for my feedback. So I'm gonna say submit feedback, and it's now broken down my question into the various chunks, trying to understand what did I actually want when I asked this? What was right, what was wrong? I'm gonna mark this one right. That's a good bot. Hit done. Thank you for improving our AI system. Oh. Now next time when that same query goes through, it ought to be more likely to actually make the selection that I just changed it to. How cool is that? I mean, think about that. That's literally like a search box to get into any data in your firm. Think about the amount of work that goes into running those reports right now. Probably a whole lot of dumping CSVs and filtering stuff in Excel and all that. And maybe equally valuable, you can see what other people are searching for as well. Give you some good ideas on different data that you could dig into to help you with decision making. Now, if you wanted to explore this further, they've actually got some pretty solid training content online for how to use insights that's available for anyone. If you want to learn more about the nuts and bolts of how it worked, check that stuff out. It's actually pretty good. They've got videos and everything. It's gonna be cool to see how this one improves over time with user feedback. Now, if you want to learn more about this one, put a link down below. Check out Canopy, who kindly sponsored this video. And start making friends with your firm's data. Because right now, that's just not something that most systems do very well. This has been a demo day where we show off cool new tech five minutes at a time. Done a whole bunch of these now, I'll put the playlist right up here and you might find something, honestly, it, it might might genuinely change your life. It's, it's probably not gonna, I don't know.